Well, here's the ground we've covered in this session. Consummation, approximation, all of it leading to a life of anticipation. So let me end by asking you some questions. How much do we really want Christ to come at the end? How much do we really want him to come down upon us right now? Are we living daily in readiness to receive and be a part of the Spirit's increasing approximations of the consummation in our lives, in our churches, in our nation, among the peoples of the earth? Are we praying and seeking and watching, waiting and preparing for nothing less than fresh revelations of Christ to us and for us and over us, before us, within us, through us? Are we willing to invite him to come upon us and to conquer us afresh and to do so in ways that foreshadow how he will one day come upon and conquer the entire universe. Well, this is the seventh and, and the final step in our TCI journey as we move in closer and closer to the spectacular supremacy of God's Son. Once again, we've reached this finish line, but this time I want us to end this session in a little different way. I'd like us to do a responsive reading together. And your only job is to read this phrase, Come upon us, Lord Jesus Christ. Whether one or many, you can participate in this right now. Would you try that phrase with me? Come upon us, Lord Jesus Christ. So what you're about to see, I'll read the uh, light print and you read the bold print. Here we go. Come upon us, Lord Jesus Christ. Ultimately, come in the triumphs of your victorious return. Come upon us, Lord Jesus Christ. But until then, come with similar transforming power right here and right now. Come upon us, Lord Jesus Christ. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon your people gathered before your face. Pour out remarkable manifestations of the Father's all-consuming grace and truth. Come upon us, Lord Jesus Christ. Give us foretastes. Give us foretastes of what will fill all of eternity very soon. Focus us on your unparalleled person as the Son of God. Fill us with your royal resources as the regent of God. Fulfill through us your saving mission in the purposes of God. Come upon us, Lord Jesus Christ. Come upon us to intensify and deepen and extend and accelerate and multiply all that you have become to us and for us and over us and before us and within us and through us. Come upon us, Lord Jesus Christ. Wake up your followers in every part of the church. Empower us to advance the gospel among all peoples. Invade this place. Transform us more and more into a showcase of your glorious reign. Overtake us as your people. Unleash your life-changing initiatives in everything we are together and in everything we do together. Would you join me in this? Together, break in and break through without delay. Answer us in a way that approximates how one day one grand and glorious day, your triumphs will be displayed throughout all heaven and earth, bringing everlasting praise to our triune God. We watch with great anticipation for the hour when you are revealed fully, for the hour when you deliver all things fully at the consummation of the ages. Come upon us that day. Come upon us this day. Would you join me? Amen. Never ever stop coming down upon us. Come in the fullness of your spectacular supremacy. Come in the fervor of your magnificent majesty. Saturate us. Saturate us. Together, saturate us. Son of the Father, focus of the Spirit, Redeemer of the Church, our Lord Jesus Christ. Come together. Hallelujah.